Good morning everyone! Welcome to the Italian Navy Incursory Gym. I'm the instructor who has been assigned to you. In this public health emergency we must stay at home. And the Italian Navy Incursory have made this video to help you maintain your physical fitness through some home workouts. These exercises can be performed at home using everyday objects without any special equipment. We will start by warming up the muscle chains. Then perform exercises based on your physical capabilities and conclude with a cool down activity. In order to make the most out of this video, we suggest you to use the pause button whenever this icon appears. I recommend that you prepare the training area removing any objects that could be an obstacle to safely perform an injury-free workout. Let's begin! We need to warm up in order to raise our body temperature and to prepare the musculoskeletal system to safely start the training session. We consider the warming up process in a holistic way, considering the whole body as a set of muscle chains. So we have borrowed some yoga movements and use them to train as they are quite easy and extremely effective. Let's start with the upper chain by warming up the shoulder girdle through 10 reps for each shoulder. Back and forward. And then together with both arms forward and backward. 10 reps, 50 to 60 reps together. Intensity is quite low. Concentrate on the mobility of the shoulders and slow control movements. Let's now move to warm up the central part of the body, doing pelvic rotations, firstly clockwise and then counterclockwise. Let's move on to the legs flexor chain and knees. Forward flexion, back extension of the knees. Postural advice. Always remember to make slow control movements. Finally, Let's exercise the fundamental flexor chain of the foot, then the ankle. Now we'll continue with a more specific warm-up. Let's start with posture number one. From the standing position, start with a flexion of the head, which will then affect the spine. Legs are slightly bent, reach the ground in the same movement. The movement should be performed in a single breath. From here, move forward, shifting your weight onto your hands, knees slightly bent to activate the posterior chain.
Then bend down, bending the elbows. Now extend your arms along your body. We now have an extension of the spine. The elbows are in extension too, looking slightly downward in order to avoid cervical strain. From here, let's go to the downward facing dog position. Energy is activated from the palms of the hands and then transferred to the glutes to lift your hips up to return to downward facing dog. From here, lunge forward, then move one leg at a time, starting with the left leg. Taking one or two breaths. The back leg is still active. Move the torso up and activate the upper rear chain. We are now activating the stabilizing joint muscles and stretching the rear chain. Return to the previous position to perform the same lunge posture with the right leg. The phases are the same. Stabilize the knee Activate the stabilizing knee muscles to avoid injuries. Keep the weight at the center of the ankle. Taking one or two breaths. Let's now return to downward dog. Feel how the palms are activated. Forearms and shoulders like a whole chain. The knees are slightly bent. Back extension, low shoulders. This series of movements can be repeated 5 to 10 times according to your fitness level. To complete shoulder girdle mobility and warming up, use a broom handle, an object that anyone can find at home, and use it to improve shoulder mobility. For safety, first make sure there are no objects in the vicinity. Start doing rotations of the shoulders. About 10 reps, forward and backwards. Carefully control all the movements. Then perform asynchronous rotations clockwise and counterclockwise with 10 20 reps. Now start the workout session. The first exercise will affect the upper chain of through push-ups. Assume the plank position. Keep the back neutral and not bent. 
in order to avoid overstressing of the spine, especially in the lumbar area. If you find this exercise too difficult to perform in this position, reduce the load and intensity by resting your knees on the ground. The movement is otherwise the same as before. An eccentric phase and a concentric phase. Do 10, 20 or 30 reps. 1, 2 or 3 sets. In the same way, on the other hand, if you wish to increase the intensity, return to the starting position and perform the push-up, releasing your hands once you're down. In this way, you will remove the elasticity that the muscle has accumulated. Reposition your hands in the same way as before and return to the upper position. Now, let's move on to work out the lower chain. We will perform some air squats, also known as free body squats. First, slightly move the pelvis back, so that the posterior chain is activated. Then, proceed to the eccentric phase. Slowly lower your body after a complete flexion of the knees you will reach a position in which the quadriceps are more or less parallel to the ground. An imaginary line that goes from the knees to the glutes. In order to properly execute the movement, you can use a chair to help limit mobility and flexion. Taking into account your fitness level, you can do 10, 20 or 30 reps. Use a controlled rhythm and do 3 to 5 sets. Again, we will rest for 1 to 2 minutes. If you want to increase the intensity of this exercise, you may add some additional weight. Pick up two bottles of water and hold them into your hands. Keep your arms stretched along the body and move in the same way as previously explained. 
A first option is to keep the arms stretched along the body while the weight is external to the legs and perform the eccentric movement followed by the concentric movement. Perform a couple of repetitions According to your training level, you can do 10, 20 or 30 reps, 3 to 5 sets, followed by complete recovery. Another variation is the front-loaded squat. To keep working on the lower chain, we will now move on to an exercise called split squats. The torso must be straight up. Maintain a forward gaze and keep the arms external. Do not pass the imaginary nito line. Go slightly forward. Go backward and then forward, alternating legs. Another option is the lateral squat. Posture-wise, the knee should always be kept in line with the ankle. Again, do 10, 20 or 30 reps, 3 to 5 sets. Let's move on to the training of the central chain, the abs, so-called core training. The fundamental exercise is the plank. Let's see the correct way to do it. Let's repeat the same position we learned for push-ups. However, the hands are at a slightly smaller width, equal to shoulder width apart. The glutes are working, the legs are working, shoulder blades are outwards, maintaining a very slight physiological curve, and the elbows are working. This is the plank exercise. The plank can be performed in this position or by placing the forearms on the, the ground thus making the exercise more difficult. The muscles involved are the core muscles, the abs, which act as isometric stabilizers, with the posterior lumbar chain acting as the antagonist.
We must hold the plank position as long as possible. Postural advice. Keep the starting position. We are now approaching at the end of the training, the cool down phase. We'll perform the L sit. A posture for which we need a free wall, positioning ourselves with legs up, actively stretched out. The aim of the posture is to release the muscle tension created during training, especially in the posterior chain. That will allow for a passive stretching of the rear chain, stretching the back and removing the overloads developed during training. Postural advices. Legs width more or less like the pelvis. Toes can be turned this way Shoulder must be depressed, creating complete contact between the lumbar chain and the ground. Furthermore, in order not to overload the cervical area, try to bring your chin to the sternum. Imagining that that is someone stretching your neck. In case you have any problems with hyperextension of the neck, you can place a pillow or towel underneath your head, increasing and improving the extension of the neck. Arms are in this position, palms down. To make the exercise slightly more active, you can bring our arms over your head. If you feel a tingling sensation in your toes, unload your legs. Bringing your knees towards your chest. Hold this position for one to two minutes. Then reposition your legs straight and see if the tingling has passed. To make the position even more active, as you have stretched your arms, you can do the same thing with your feet holding them at a 90 degree angle, avoiding too much tension, keeping the knees working, pushing against the wall, glutes pushing against the wall so that this flexion of the feet can further activate the hamstring muscles. We are done for today, excellent work! Tomorrow you can repeat these exercises and if you want, increase the reps as suggested on the screen. Train with your families. Who knows, one day, one of you might become a Navy Special Forces Incursore.